Y108. Time now for Get Hammered, the indie spotlight show on Y108. Brought to you by the legendary Red Rooster Vintage Cafe. <laughs> Rock-a-doodle-doo on down to the legendary Red Rooster Vintage Cafe, 484 Plains Road East, Burlington. Get hammered. The Indie Spotlight Show. Y108 rocks. Yes, and we do it every Wednesday night. Get hammered. I'm Brian West, and I uh, have two guys in from the band All for Nothing this evening, Matt and Chris. Guys, thanks for coming in tonight. Hey, Hello. how's it going? Appreciate you making the uh, the stop. Now, there's a couple more guys in the band, but they couldn't make it, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. No, they're... they're on the road. Yeah. Attacked by koala bears, actually. Yeah. Traffic at this time of night. Well, it does happen at, at any time. Yes. You never know when you're going to get caught. And, and bears, too. There was yeah, bears. Yeah. They got Lots attacked bears. by, so... Bears? Yes. Yeah. Crazy story. Mm-hmm. Yikes. Hope they're okay. Some injuries. All for Nothing is the name of the band, and uh, you guys are a little different than uh, some of the bands that we've had on the show before. I mean, we've got some like heavy metal bands, some uh, you know mainstream rock bands. You yeah. guys have a bit of a pu- well, you you have a punk influence completely. Oh yeah. Who are your influences? Uh, what punk bands do you guys look up to? Um, well, most bands we've been listening to for our forever have been uh, you know like Blink One Eight Two and Sum Forty One, Offspring kind of bands like yeah. That. Yeah, we also like. Uh, you know, Milling Collin, uh, yeah. Lag Wagon, some some of the more obscure bands, I guess for for most people. Yeah, those uh, are our main punks. influences, yeah. Yeah. So as a band from, uh, you guys are from Waterdown. Yeah. Uh, like yeah. born and raised. Oh yeah. How does it, how do you find it like like the punk scene in Waterdown? <laughs> <laughs> punk scene. Um. Well. <laughs> Waterdown's not too big, so yeah. there's really not much. No scene. Going on there. Is there really even a scene? Yeah. I think we. That's us. I think much. that. Yeah. You yeah. are the scene. Yeah. Pretty, uh, I guess. Getting pretty cocky there, Chris. No. Well, no. There's, there's maybe another band, one band, or one something. band. Yeah. There's two bands in Waterdown in, yeah. in total. <laughs> pretty much. In the whole Waterdown, yeah. two yeah, bands. That's all. <laughs> you guys are one of them. We're one of them. So how do you find it as a band from Waterdown then uh, trying to break the music scene, trying to get gigs? I mean, I know you do have one. Coming up a show in Waterdown. We'll talk about that in a second. But as for getting out to meeting other bands and getting your stuff heard, how do you find it a big hurdle being from a, a smaller community? Uh, I think it's a big hurdle probably for any band uh, in in the indie scene, no doubt. I mean, uh, it's always hard getting yourself out there and getting people to listen to you, and uh, you know, unless you have kind of your foot in somewhere. And there's a lot of there's a lot of networking involved, which is always a pain in the pain in the butt. But uh <laughs> yeah. you know, we've been fortunate lately we actually got to play the Burlington Sound and Music Festival this round. Nice. Uh, main Bell Canada stage. So that was that was pretty fantastic. And also we did uh Canal Days in Port Colburn, which uh which uh we did it with the Hero Adidas uh eyewear stunt yeah. team. This guy's so they were back yeah. and uh as we were playing they were doing stunts over our heads, we were standing on the ramps playing no way. Their songs, and they were jumping and doing flips on their bikes and stuff over our heads. So it was pretty cool. And yeah. no, one, no one landed on you? No. Well, you know, we were worried about that. We were a little scared. I had like three changes of underwear backstage yeah, because yeah. I was. Yeah. I was oh, yeah. yeah. It was scary. I used two of them. We we survived but. though, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, bands in the old days used to you know wreck their own instruments on stage, but now you can yeah. just have bikers falling on them. Yeah, and, pretty and, much. Yeah. And there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about the gig you've got coming up in Waterdown. Where have you played uh, at this particular place before? Uh, yeah, yeah, we have. Yeah. Uh, it's the Waterdown uh, YMCA, um, and they have like punk shows every every month, pretty much. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's it's pretty chill. It's one of those kind of shows that's. Uh, um, you know, kind of been more intimate, I guess. The crowd is kind of right there in front of you, uh, standing around, and you kind of set up your amps and kind of jam out, I guess, in a sense. Yeah, and this one's with some pretty uh, well-known bands, too. We have uh, Guilty and Summerside playing, too. Yeah. And uh, a couple other bands. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it should be a good show, yeah. How do you guys find the punk scene? Uh, you know, when when you chose to be a punk band, was it one of those things that you're like, should we play, like, hard rock, metal, or is it that you guys have just liked punk your whole life and that's what you wanted to do? Yeah. I think it's just that we like the music so much. Well, in, in the closet, I'm a death uh, metal uh, <laughs> enthusiast. <laughs> and but, I, uh, I really love country, actually. <laughs> and but you just couldn't bring yourself to do it. No. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> no, not really. No, it just kind of came naturally to us, for sure. And, um, you know, it's, uh, I guess, at a time in our life when we were listening to the, to the punk rock that we were, it was kind of kind of uh, relatable very relatable to us and uh that's the best kind of music if you can relate to yeah, it, uh, exactly. and it and it comes from the heart let's talk about the song we're going to hear right now it's called eight four that's correct it's an interesting name it uh-huh. is it's actually a a fraction 
I guess. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. But. Well, well, do you want to hear the story of the song, I guess? Kind of? <laughs> Are we going to be here all night, or is there a... No, it can be well, pretty quick. Is there a wrap reader, it up, wrap it up. Reader's uh, Digest version? Yeah, okay. okay. The general idea was that uh, we played a show, and afterwards um, we, we got into my car. It was only four seats in the car. Eight people got in. Yeah. And um, Girls on laps, there was so a lot of other it. things that probably shouldn't have been in the car, like... Lots well, of alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, anyways, we got, we got pulled over, and uh, they opened up our car and everything right in the middle of Hamilton, and uh, people were just walking by laughing at us as all eight of us are standing on the curb uh, with the cop yelling at us, pretty much. And, I, and I, you know, I, I was the only of-age person in the car, and there happened to be alcohol for about an army of uh, a thousand. So. so you had to claim it all. Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. the song explains it, though. Hey, well, I'm looking forward to hearing it <laughs> <laughs> now in its full version. Thanks again, uh, Matt and Chris from All For Nothing. Uh, your website real quick. Yeah, allfornothing.ca. Check it out. Here's to MySpace also. Here's 8-4 from All For Nothing on Get Hammered. Why, why, wait, rocks.